I know everyone's aware of what's RAM, but not everyone has a deep understanding about RAM. Oh, I have like 1 gigs of RAM in my old computer, but my laptop has 8 gigs of RAM. So why is it better to have more RAM? Well, with more RAM, your computers and smartphones can do more things and run more programs at the same time. Well, we all know that. But most people can't really explain RAM beyond that point. So that's where I'll try to help a little bit. Let's divide the memory into two categories. The first type of memory is one which can hold data when there's no electricity running through it. This includes different types of flash drives. You can carry it around and plug it into any computer and it still holds all your data. The second type of memory is one which loses all its data when there is no power attached to it. Also called as volatile memory. And RAM is one type of volatile memory. When there is no electricity, the RAM is empty. So when you first power up your computer, RAM is really empty. But the hard disk contains all the programs and games waiting to be run. The processor can only run the program if it is present on the RAM. If your computer boots up and RAM is empty, how does the processor run anything? Okay, I lied a little bit. The computer processor can run a little bit of software that doesn't have to be present on RAM. Right when your computer boots up, BIOS looks for operating system inside the hard disk and it takes out the operating system and puts it on the RAM. Now operating system loads up and you can run any program but first you have to go in the flash memory and bring the program to RAM. So let's load Google Chrome in memory. I can load Counter Strike in memory and now I want to load Photoshop but there's no room so we have to make some space by removing Counter Strike and then we can load Photoshop. So this is why having a larger RAM is better. You can fit more software that can be run by the processor at the same time and you don't have to go back to your slow hard drive or flash memory to get any of your programs. The process in which you move the programs in and out of memory and slow hard drive that process is called as paging and it's really slow. So when you press Control or delete or open Android task killer what you are really doing is just taking out the unnecessary programs from the memory and making space for new programs. So thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing stuff.